In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a reflection to your mirror materials in V-Ray for SketchUp. Let's go. Alright, so the first thing what you need to do is place a mirror opposite the wall. So we're going to place a mirror opposite our cut geometry here, which is the section plane. And we're going to try mimicking reflection to the mirror. So this is a mirror material that we've created for the scene. Select this, go to Asset Editor. Let's select the material again. So now you can see that it's completely reflective. It has an IOR of 99, which means it's super reflective. And it's going to act like a mirror material. So let's move this out and make a copy. Rotate it by 90. Move to the side some more. Select its edge. Snap it to the red axis by pressing the right arrow key. And place it on that wall. And then you can just move it to the left as well. Now what I'll do is I'll sort of zoom into this area so that I get a render which is facing the mirror. Something like this. And I'm also going to change the render output. So let's go to the settings, render output and change this to 1 is to 1. Once I've done that, I can also change the field of view. So if I press Z, you can see the field of view set at 30. You can maybe change it to 20. So it's sort of nicely zoomed into this part of the scene. Place the camera down facing the furniture and then switch on two point perspective. And then I'm going to create a new scene. All right, so now I'm going to run an interactive render and see how this mirror material works. So let's go to the asset editor, go to settings. I'm going to run an interactive render. All right, so now you can see that the mirror is pretty much reflecting what is behind the section plane, which is simply a white sort of a box there. So now if I orbit around, you can see that the mirror is actually reflecting what's happening on the outside of this environment. So it's going to reflect the outside part, which is white in color. So if I go back to scene three, you can see the whiteness in this mirror. So let's fix this. There's a quick hack to fix this and I'll show you how. So we're going to place a wallpaper on this side and I'm going to switch it off to the camera. It's only going to be visible to the reflections and refractions. And that way it will show up in the mirror material. So let's place a rectangle here from this edge. I'm going to snap it to the red axis to about this edge. This is our face. Now let's bring in our wallpaper. So go to file, import. Now there's a wallpaper which I saved for you all in the exercise files. Just select this, select texture, click on import, click once, drag it all the way to the top so it's nice and big. You can see it's styling here. So let's right click, go to texture position, place it like this, right click done. Now let's just make it a group and let's rotate it to the other side. So rotate it by 180, move it to the corner here. All right. Now what we also need to do, which is super important is that we need to apply this material, which is our wallpaper on the back side of the face as well. Otherwise the room would get dark. So let's select this material. Enter the group, select this face and apply it to the side as well. So if you applied it in both sides, make sure to select the right material. So let's select this material again. Let's press J, toggle visibility. Yeah, make sure to select this material using the bucket tool and then the sample paint and then apply it to the other side. The reason I kept doing that was because I wanted this side of the face to match this side. And there is no discrepancies in the texture. All right. Now what we need to do is I'm going to select this texture so you can see this texture selected. Go to the asset editor. So this is our material and also when you bring in your image, when you go to file import, make sure you bring it in as a texture and not as an image. So a quick update on that. So now let's go to the asset editor. This is our material here. You don't have to change any of these settings here. All you need to do is add an attribute and add something called ray trace properties. So now under ray trace properties, we have various options. We're going to switch visible to camera off. So now you'll see it doesn't show up in the camera view. And we're going to also switch off cast shadows. So now this material is only going to be showing up to reflections and refractions. So now let's go to scene three. Now you don't have to worry because even if this is showing up here, it won't really show up in the render. What you can do is just go to the SketchUp materials here and reduce the opacity. So now you can see what's happening inside the scene. Now let's go back to Acid Editor and run an Interactive Editor. Alright, so now you can see that we have our nice cool material in the scene. 
with some nice reflections. We can see the curtain, this chair here. This is all coming from the image that we placed opposite the mirror. So mirrors only reflect the things which are opposite it. And this is a quick hack you guys can use to place any wallpaper or even a render. Make sure it is switched off to the camera and make sure the cast shadows are off and then it will show up in the mirror material. It's also a good way to add black boxes and white boxes to sort of manipulate even your shadows. A lot of CGI artists use this method to add reflectors in their renders. I hope you found this video useful. If you'd like to learn how to create awesome renders like these, check out the complete SketchUp and video course for interior design. You'll find the link in the description. Please do like and subscribe if you find our videos useful. It goes a long way in helping us create awesome content for y'all. I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.